Hi, this is David Sandy, and I have been working with the City of St. Joseph and Airbnb for several weeks now in order to figure out how to enact or how to charge and collect this extra hotel motel tax that the St. Joseph City Council has put into effect effective July 1. So I'm going to share this information with you and show you the process. All right, first of all, you'll go into your Airbnb dashboard like this, and up here you'll click on listings this will show if you have more than one listing like I do it'll show all your listings here so we'll take this first listing for example and I'll show you what to do so you click on your listing the listing editor page will come up and you'll want to click on these three lines right there that's what you need and then you'll go down here where it says taxes how manage how taxes are collected you click on that now, at first, you will probably have the default option selected because Airbnb is collecting and remitting the taxes on your behalf. What you have to do, unfortunately, is you have to switch that and put custom in here. So, as you can see, I've switched all mine over and I have custom selected. Then under the custom tax collection, you will have to collect and remit the sales tax yourself. So if you're on VRBO, you already have to do that because VRBO does not do that on the host's behalf. Or if you rent out directly to the customer and not go through a platform, you have to do that anyway. So what you'll do, you'll click on Custom, and then you'll add in the taxes. So we've got the 9.7% per booking sales tax and the 3% hotel tax that the city is requiring. Uh, now requiring. So nothing will be here at first. You'll go down here and you click add a tax and this is where you will choose what kind of tax you're going to add. Now ignore mine already over here because I've already done this but you'll go in and you'll collect you'll select hotel tax in the case of the three percent it's a percentage per booking and the amount is three percent and you're going to charge that on your base price and your cleaning fee and then if you have these other fees associated with your property you'll want to put a check mark there all right uh, leave this blank you'll put your business tax ID this is going to be your Missouri state sales tax number if you do not have a Missouri state sales tax number you need to get one and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment then under your accommodations tax registration number that will be the number that the is on the license you get from the city because as you know all short-term rental properties have to have their own license through the city of st joseph it's a 25 dollar fee and there's a number on that so you'll type that number in there it'll start with bl24 i believe does your jurisdiction provide exemptions for long-term stays yes and you'll put 29 because any bookings over 29 nights you do not have to charge and remit sales tax for you'll leave this blank you'll confirm that you understand all of this and then you'll hit save so that's what you'll do for the the hotel tax and at that point you'll see it here after you save it now you have to go back in and add the second tax the Missouri sales tax so you'll click on this and then you'll go up here uh, let's scroll up to the top you'll put under tax type you'll hit sales tax the type of charge it's a percentage per booking again the amount in this case it's 9.7 percent and that's on your base price in your cleaning fee and if you charge these other fees you have to add it on there as well this is just like the first time when you added the three percent hotel tax you'll do the same thing again you put your Missouri state sales tax ID number there your city of St. Joseph accommodations number or the license number for your short-term rental and you'll hit yet yeah, you'll hit yes here uh, bookings over 29 nights are non taxable and you'll agree to that and hit save Now I'm hitting cancel because I've already I've already done this so at that point these two boxes will be here like you see on my screen so what will happen when Airbnb sends you a payout instead of withholding the tax the taxes 
they're going to re pass them on to you so you can submit them. So now let me show you something else here. Uh, if you do not have a Missouri state sales tax number, it's not difficult. The easiest thing to do is just go to Google and type in, how do I get a Missouri state sales tax number? You will go to the Missouri Department of Revenue, the business tax registration page right here. Then you will scroll down and you'll want to apply for a, a uh, Missouri sales tax. So you'll click on this little uh, My Tax Missouri right there. Okay, so as you can see, you can register your new business online for the following tax type. Sales tax is one of them. So you start the registration process, and then you'll just go through this process of putting in, you know, all of your information and fill that out. Uh, you will be mailed a Missouri State sales tax number. Uh, I believe it also gives it to you online. I don't remember. I've got, I had mine for a couple decades. So uh, I think you can get it live. And that's the information that you'll put in Airbnb on those other pages uh, where it asks for your Missouri business ID, your sales tax ID. So that's the process you have to do. Now, let me show you something else. You're probably thinking this is just too much work. It's too much hassle. Honestly, it's, it's really not. Once you get it set up, you get in the groove, it's something you do once a quarter. Uh, for the first quarter, January, February, March, you'll submit this by the end of April, so forth, so forth and so on. So here's what the City of St. Joseph's going to do, just to make sure everybody's playing by the rules. They're going to go to Airbnb, and they're going to simply type in St. Joseph, Missouri, uh, we'll put in some random dates here. We'll say the 14th through the 16th. Hit search, and they'll take these listings. Uh, I'll just pick one at random. We'll take this one right here since it's the first one that comes up. And this is how they can tell whether you're charging it or not. So if you go over here, you see the breakdown of the fees here. But if you hit reserve, it'll show the, the taxes. Right there's the taxes. So this is lodging of $160, a cleaning fee of $40, so that's a total of $200. All they have to do is take that $19.40 in taxes and divide it by 200, and it comes out to 9.7. So this property, Airbnb, is collecting the sales tax only, 9.7% on this total of $200. The city of St. Joseph, when they audit you, they'll see that you're not charging the extra 3%, and that's when you're kind of, you're kind of caught. And so you want to avoid that because you want to avoid you know, penalties and, and not, not collecting and, and paying the tax. Keep in mind, these taxes are paid by the guest, and uh, so it's a pass-through. It's just our responsibility, just as any other business in St. Joseph, they have to charge sales tax and they have to remit it to the proper folks. So that's essentially the process. Uh, if we go down to one of my listings, and because I've already added this on here, if we do the same kind of math, go over here to reserve it like this. And as you can see, the two nights is $273. If you add the $40 cleaning fee onto that, that would be $313. So you take $39.75, $39.75, divided by 313, and that's 12.7%. That's what we have to, that's what we have to collect and remit. So I hope this little video uh, has been helpful to the other hosts. And uh, um, feel free to message me on, on Facebook if you have any questions, and uh, I'll help you out the best I can. Happy hosting. That's all.